Hello everybody, it's me, the Real Local Maniac, and I'm back again with another Blast from the Past. And today, still sticking with the Double Dragon theme, I'll be playing Double Dragon 2, The Revenge, on the NES. Now, this is probably one of my favourite NES games. I absolutely love it. Now, I wasn't 100% too keen on the arcade machine, and I feel that this game just took elements from the arcade game and basically just ran with it and made it its own, really. There's a storyline there, something about two young men challenging, blah blah blah, they call them the Double Dragon. There you go. That's my version of it anyway. So yeah, Marion gets killed. There's a Shadow Warrior, those are the bad guys. And there's Marion. Yeah. Alright, so the Double Dragons are obviously pissed off because they get killed. Well, she got killed. Now this is actually a two-player game, and um... I think it's a great improvement on the first Double Dragon game. The first Double Dragon game, you know, looked nice enough, fair enough, but it was just limited to one player, and this is a two-player game, and the only drawback it does have is it's got quite a lot of uh, flickering when you play it in two players, and it looks a bit weird when you scroll there as well. Now this isn't to do because of the emulator I'm playing on, it's because it used to actually scroll like that, because I used to, you know, used to actually have this on my 8 bit Nintendo. Now. I don't know if you guys are aware, but there is like a little cheat on it as well. Now, if you, there's two versions of um, two-player mode that you've got, I think. One version where you can't hit the other person, and one version you can. So, if you want to play it one player, and you want to get sort of loads of lives so you can finish the game, select two-player mode, hit the other character, keep on killing them until they lose all the lives, and you end up getting all the lives, basically. I remember reading that in a magazine. So, okay, so let's carry on with the game then. So, like I said, this took, you know, like elements from the Double Dragon 2 game and just ran with it. And it's turned out with an amazing Double Dragon game. I absolutely love this game to bits. And I've been meaning to do it for quite some time. Now, what I do like about it, it's not your typical standard Double Dragon game, so you go left from right. You know, you go up things, you've got to sort of climb ladders, you've got to sort of like go in helicopters. It's full of variety, so it's sort of like a little platformer, in, you know, in certain levels as well. And I love the graphics, the graphics are all really good. And it's easy to pull off all the moves. There is one move there, I'm never too sure um, how to, um, to do it. It's like a flying knee. I can do the flying kick, no problem, but how the hell I do the flying knee, I haven't got... I'm not too sure, it's pretty powerful, it sends people flying. Now guys, I will be doing just two more videos uh, to do with Double Dragon once I've done this. Um, first, the next one I'll be doing is 8-Bit Wars uh, Double Dragon 3. I'll be doing two different versions of that. I'll be doing the slightly longer version on my uh, website, and I'll be doing the 10-minute version as well on, the, um, on YouTube. Actually, uh, that will be three videos. <laughs> the next video I will be doing is um, Loco Plays. And basically, Loco Plays is me playing through a game from start to finish, and I'll be doing the Sega Master System version of Double Dragon. And I, I know I can finish that game. I've done it a few times before, so... And that's it. You know, that will be the end of the Double Dragon series. I know there's a few other Double Dragon games I've missed out. There's like the Super Nintendo version. There's the uh, Sega Mega Drive version, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a great uh, version. I might do that somewhere down the line, but for the time being, I'm going to just do these videos I mentioned. Now there's that baddie there, the one with the man boobs. He looks a little bit like Vader, and that was uh, thanks to a uh, WrestleTube who pointed that out. He, he does look a little bit like him. So anyway, let's uh, think about question of the day. Now, I'm looking at this baddie here, I want to find out who is your favourite end of level guardian in any game. So it could be anything from this baddie here with the man boobs, it could be Bowser, it could be Dr. Robotnik, it could even be some of the guys from Final Fight, so who is your favourite end of level uh, baddie? That's the question of the day. Yeah, I'm quite enjoying this game. So unfortunately, that I've got to sort of quickly do this video, so I would have liked to spend a little bit more time on it, sort of like do a slightly longer video, but I've got to go to work a little bit, which is a bit annoying. You know, it's a nice sunny day out there. While everyone else is going to be sort of enjoying the sunshine, I'm going to be stuck at work. And I don't finish until like about one-ish, but it's a good thing I've got the wife picking me up. 
Anyway, I'm rambling on again. Oh crap. Now this is what I mean, this is what I like about this game. It's sort of, it's not just a straightforward left to right. Um, beat em up. You've got to climb up things, you know, jump over things, and later on, in the, you know, in the game, you've actually got to time things, you know, pretty good, otherwise it just, you might mess it all up. Playing this game in two-player is pretty good. It's probably one of my favorite two-player beat-em-ups, actually, uh, ever. You know, I'd probably have to say Streets of Rage 2 is up there. I'd have to say uh, Double Dragon the Arcade game is, Final Fight, and what else? Target Renegade. On the, on the spec here, probably my favorite beat-em-ups, and this ranks up there with them. Now, uh, once I've finished doing my Double Dragon series, I will start be doing another series of videos, which will be uh, Shinobi. So, I'll do your typical 8-bit Wars Shinobi, followed by some of the other versions on some of the other computers, and then I might throw a few other different 8-bit Wars, but it's the way I'm going to do it now. I'm going to sort of run with a series of games for the month and do it that way, with a few other things sort of in between. And uh, yeah, I am going to take a few days uh, off, guys, by the way. I'm going to upload these couple of videos, and then after that I'm going to just chill just for about a week and a bit. So I can just, just, I don't know, relax at home with my wife. And uh, yeah, I'd just like to sort of like give a big shout out to my lovely wife Doris because um, tomorrow is our one year anniversary. So I know she's probably never going to listen to this video, but if you are Doris, um, thanks very much for a lovely year being married and I've really enjoyed it. Thanks for putting up with me and my geekiness. Alright, so we're coming up to the end of this level here. So I've got to beat the crap out of these guys here, and um, then you get two other baddies coming up, and they're kind of fiddly to sort of like fight against, but if I can trap them, I can beat the crap out of them pretty good, and then I have to uh, climb up that helicopter. Now guys, I have mentioned that I will be doing other 8-bit wars, you know, some people have requested that I do a Midnight uh, Resistance, which I absolutely love that game, um, Eastwatt as well I will be doing as well, and Camelot Warriors I will be doing as well, but um, I will be doing those in a couple of weeks time. I haven't forgotten, you know, I've just been sort of a little bit busy with doing the Double Dragon series. I've always wondered how he actually managed to jump up into the helicopter there, so it's pretty high. Now I'm going to quickly show you how um, to beat these guys really, really fast. Just stand in the corner, keep on jumping right, and they kill themselves basically. There we go, don't even have to fight them. There we go. So yeah, two more videos in the Double Dragon series. The other one I completely forgot to do was uh, Double Dragon vs. Battletoads. And look, there's the baddie there. He looks like he's got one of those... Um, what are they called? Look at his haircut. Sort of like a Lionel Richie haircut. It looks like Lionel Richie or with, um, big muscles. Anyway guys, I'm the Real Local Maniac, I shall see you next time. Goodbye.